Hello my dear children of 9th standard. In this video we are going to start a chapter from your supplementary that is moments. The name of the chapter is chapter number 5 The Happy Prince written by Oscar Wilde. Now once in a town there lived Prince. He was called the happy prince because he had been happy all his life. After his death, his statue was erected on a tall pedestal in the middle of the town. The statue was covered with gold and had two precious sapphire stones embedded in the eyes. But from there, the prince can see the suffering and poverty all around him. This made him very sad. There came a swallow, swallow a bird, and he helped the prince in ending the sufferings of others living in his city. So, this was the outline of the chapter. Now, I'll give you short introduction about the author Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde was an Irish poet and playwright. He took birth on 16th October 1854 and died on 30th November 1900. He is best remembered for his epigrams and plays. What is the meaning of epigram? So, an epigram is a brief, interesting, memorable and sometimes surprising or satirical statement. So now, let us begin the chapter. The statue of the happy prince was built on a tall column in the city and it was gilded. Gilded means covered with thin leaves of fine gold. His eyes were two bright sapphires. Sapphires means a precious stone of blue color. And there was a large red ruby. Ruby again a precious stone of red color. On his sword hilt. A swallow saw the statue of the prince and alighted, means landed between his feet for the night. He was flying to Egypt to be with his friends. Now what happens in the story that but as he was going to sleep, a large drop of water fell on him. The swallow was amazed. There was no cloud, yet it rained. The second drop of water made the swallow decide to fly off. The third drop of water made him to look at the statue. And what he saw? The statue was weeping. The prince was weeping. The statue spoke to the swallow. It said that, when it was alive, it had not known what tears were. His countries called him a happy prince. Now, he sat very high. He saw the miseries of the city. Misery means sadness, problems of the city. The happy prince told the swallow that... There lived a woman far away. She was a seamstress. Seamstress means a lady tailor. She was embroidering flowers on the satin gown of the queen's maid of honor. The maid was to wear in the next court ball. Now, in the bed, there lay ill her little boy. He was suffering from fever. The happy prince asked the swallow to pick the ruby from his sword, sword hilt. Now what is the meaning of sword hilt? So sword is a weapon with a long metal blade and 
हिल्ट हिल्ट मीन्स हैंडल विथ अ हैंड गार्ड so the happy prince asks the swallow to pick the ruby from his sword hilt he should give that to the woman first the swallow said that his friends had gone to egypt he was waited for in egypt but the happy prince requested him to stay one night the swallow agreed He picked up the ruby and flew to the woman's house. He put the ruby near the woman's thimble. Thimble means a metal or plastic cap to protect the finger. So, he also fanned the boy's forehead. And after he fanned the boy's forehead, the boy felt a bit better. he sank into a deep slumber means he drawn into a deep sleep now the swallow flew back to the prince he felt warmer thought though it was cold the happy prince told him that it was because he had done a good act the swallow wanted to fly egypt but The happy prince told him to stay there one more night. He told the swallow that he saw a playwright. Playwright means an author who writes plays. So happy prince told the swallow that he saw a playwright in a little room. He was trying to finish a play for the director of the theater. But he was too cold to write he was hungry also so he asked the swallow to pluck one sapphire one precious stone which is of blue color from his eyes and give that to the playwright the playwright saw the sapphire he was happy now he hoped to finish the play the swallow went to the happy prince he told him that he had come to bid him goodbye to say him goodbye but the happy prince asked him to stay one more night the happy prince told the swallow that there was a little match girl in the square below all her matches had fallen in the gutter her father would beat her if she didn't bring home some money she was crying he asked the swallow to pluck out the sapphire from his other eye and give that to her the swallow flew with the sapphire he put the sapphire into the little girl's hand the swallow flew back to the happy prince he told the prince that he would stay with him as he had gone blind now the happy prince asked him to fly over the city and tell him what he saw he also told the swallow that the most marvelous means the most astonishing thing was human suffering and human misery was the greatest mystery the swallow flew over the city he saw hungry children he also saw many poor people the happy prince asked him to take leaf after leaf of the fine gold over his body and give it to them the poor now laughed and the children played then there came the snow and then frost everything looked white the poor little swallow grew colder and colder but he didn't leave the happy prince however he could no longer keep himself alive he at last knew that he was going to die the swallow asked the prince to let him kiss his hand the prince told him that he was happy 
he was going to egypt so he told him to kiss him on the lips but the swallow told him that he was going to egypt he was not going to egypt he was going to the house of death and he fell down dead at that moment there appeared a crack inside the statue the heart of the happy prince broke into two the dead swallow lay at its feet the next morning the mayor and the town councillors came that way they looked at the statue they declared that the happy prince was no longer beautiful so he was no longer useful then they melted the statue in a furnace furnace means in a fireplace but the broken heart didn't melt it was thrown away now what happened now god asked one of his angels to bring him the two most precious things in the city the angel brought him the leaden heart the lead heart of the happy prince and the dead boy god told that in the garden of paradise means in the garden of heaven the little boy would sing forever and the happy prince would praise him forever in his city of gold and in the end they lived forever in paradise in heaven so my dear children this was the summary of the chapter the happy prince thank you